a warm and comforting yellow split pea soup. All right, so I've chopped one yellow onion. I'm just gonna put this in my bowl. Whew, I don't know if I'm tearing up because I'm happy that my sister's having a baby or that onion is just really strong. <laughs> I have two carrots that I've peeled here. The carrots are gonna add a little sweetness, a little pop of color. And of course, you know, carrots are good for you, so why not add it? That looks good. I'm gonna dump it in my bowl here with my onion. I'm gonna use one stalk of celery. Get it as fine as possible. So the celery is not necessarily gonna add like texture because of course I'm gonna cook it down. So what you're gonna get is more so of like an earthy flavor. And again, if you don't want to do this manually, you can always use your food processor. All right, and I have two cloves of garlic that I'm going to also mince up. All right, I'm going to head over here to the stove top, saute my veggies. So I have a small Dutch oven here over a medium high heat with a little canola oil. And now I'm going to add my veggies. I also like to hit it with a little salt to help draw out some of that water in there. So I thought it'd be really cool to make a soup, something warm, something comforting. This yellow split pea soup is that. All right, now to get that iconic color, I'm using turmeric. Turmeric is a great anti-inflammatory agent. Mm -hmm. It keeps the water off the knees. <laughs> it's good for author and writers. And I tell you, turmeric goes far you don't need to use a lot of it. And the reason I'm adding it in right now as I'm cooking the veggies, because things like turmeric and curry need to bloom. When you bloom things like turmeric and curry, it kind of turns down that tart flavor that you get from it. So the veggies are cooked down, the turmeric has bloomed and blossomed. Now I'm gonna add in my split peas. Give it a stir. Oh, it's pretty already. And if you guys don't know, Yellow is my favorite color. I have a container here of vegetable broth. Wouldn't be a soup without some type of liquid. I'm gonna add the entire quart. About a tablespoon of thyme here. And thyme and turmeric, they just go really well together. So that's about a tablespoon of thyme. Man, this smells incredible. Like, I want this now. But I can't, because I gotta let the peas cook. So I'm gonna cover this and let it hang out here for about 40 minutes or until it becomes tender. While that's doing that, I gotta get this sour cream ready. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't take it up a notch. I'm using full fat sour cream. We are making a lighter meal, but the full fat sour cream won't hurt this at all. I mean, what is the grams in here? Like six grams per one two third tablespoon. I mean, <laughs> It's good. <laughs> a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. It's gonna give that split pea soup a nice little smoky yet cooling flavor. My mom would always make her split pea soup with some type of smoked meat, like a ham hock or smoked turkey. And because we're not using any type of smoked meat, you get the smokiness from the sour cream. Mmm, -hmm. the best of both worlds. So I'm gonna let this chill in the fridge while the split pea soup continues to do its thing. Ooh, that smells good in here. Let me try this. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know how we say, that's amazing. hitting. That's hitting, that's it's busting. Mm -hmm. It's an earthy taste, but it's also very smooth. Mm -hmm. 